guys, it's Charlotte, and today's video is going to be on my experience with the juice cleanse. So if you guys follow me on <clears throat> Instagram or Tumblr, you'll know that recently I did a three-day juice cleanse. I got mine from a local like juice shop called The Green Carrot here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and they have a one-day or a three-day but I decided to just go full force and get the three-day juice cleanse. The exact juice cleanse that I got was actually a beginner juice cleanse because this one had more fruit juices and personally that's what I like more. So I thought, especially to try it out since this is my first time ever doing a juice cleanse, to get the beginner one instead of the intermediate. So yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a review on my thoughts and opinions on the juice cleanse going into it and how I felt going out of it and doing the whole juice cleanse. Oh yeah, and they are cold pressed juice. So it's like totally raw, totally healthy, gets all the amount of nutrients that you can into the juice. So what they say in the book, and I actually, I should have done like, cause you're supposed to do a pre-cleanse and then do the actual juice cleanse and then do like an outro cleanse, where, which is basically eating raw or like very, um, like very like whole foods. So the day before my juice cleanse, I did do a day fully raw. For breakfast and lunch, I had two really big smoothies because I really like smoothies because they're an easy way to get in calories and so tasty. And for dinner, I had a large green raw salad. So usually I don't eat a full day fully raw because I don't like that many raw foods. Like when it comes to dinner time, I'm ready for savory food because I love savory food. So I only did one day um, fully raw before the cleanse. They say in the booklet, I have the, their booklet here, that um, I'm supposed to, you're supposed to do, yeah, you're supposed to do fully raw like a few days in advance or like slowly transition into going fully raw and then doing the cleanse. But sadly, I didn't read that. And I like read all over their website, so I must have missed it. But I did do the day before my cleanse fully raw. And going into the juice cleanse, I was kind of nervous because, like, being vegan already, I eat, like, so much food. Like, I eat a lot of food. I love eating. So I was, like, a bit nervous since it is, like, just juice, you know. And, yeah, no food or anything. So I was like, oh. And the calories were lower than I usually eat as well. So I was a bit nervous about that, but I wanted to try it still, you know. So first day, it honestly wasn't that bad. I think because like being committed to doing the juice cleanse, I wasn't really like missing any food or anything. And I honestly wasn't that hungry either. So day one was pretty good. So yeah. The second day, I was actually traveling. I was driving from here from Winnipeg to Calgary. So it was like a 13 hour drive. And it was kind of nice that I actually had my juice because then I didn't need to stop a lot. So it was really easy to keep up with the cleanse on that day, especially because I was just kind of sitting and driving. Third day on my cleanse, I have to say I probably was missing like food. I was missing like, you know, chewing on something, but I still wasn't like, it wasn't that bad. And yeah, I didn't feel like too hungry. I never really felt that hungry, which I guess was a good thing. But I guess I, I didn't miss food. Like, I really love savory food, as I said before, too. So I was definitely missing my cooked foods. But it wasn't too bad. Like, I have to say the overall experience was really good. So some of the pros of it, I'd have to say, is your stomach is, like, so flat doing the juice cleanse. Like, you know, sometimes you hear about those Victoria's Secret models or whatever doing juice cleanses or whatever before the fashion show. And I can totally see why they do that. Because since you're just drinking juice and you're not, your body isn't metabolizing any food, it didn't really, like, my stomach was, like, so flat. You know, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> and because I was traveling, I never weighed myself or anything. And I wasn't doing the juice cleanse to lose weight or anything. I just wanted to see what the whole experience was like. You know, since I've heard of juice cleanses before, I wanted to try it, like, the whole detox thing. So that was definitely a pro of doing the cleanse. And as I and it was easy, especially because they actually gave me this nice cooler. When you buy the cleanse, they give you this cooler. So let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yeah, see, so they gave me this cooler and it was really nice because oops, the cooler kept all my juices cool throughout the day, especially when I was on the road. 
So that made it really easy to eat because all of your food was kind of already pre-packaged, even though it was juice, you know? It was already like packaged and like in the cooler, so it was ready to go. Another pro that I have to say about the cleanse is that I think that it gives you a good way, you know, to let your body rest and not have to be metabolizing all that food. It can kind of like relax in that area. And also just to give you a good relationship with food, you know, for like self-control and stuff to um, be able to like stick to something. I feel like that's good sometimes, you know, to have like a little bit of restriction. Like it's not good to like restrict yourself a whole lot and I don't, trust me. But um, I feel like every once in a while something like that's good, you know, just to like make sure like the self-control and be able to stick to something. Some of the cons of doing the cleanse, and not really like bad things, but just things that were different than normally when I'm eating food, <laughs> is um, I did feel a bit lightheaded sometimes if I were to do like exercise or anything. They say not to do any strenuous exercise, and I didn't while I was on the cleanse, but I did go to a yoga class on my last day, and I did feel more lightheaded than I normally would have if I was eating food but it wasn't like too bad and then you just like sit down or whatever if it's too much for you so it wasn't like that bad like I was able to do everything else kind of normally because the last day I was like out and about but it wasn't like I was like so hungry or so starving or so dizzy that I needed to just like sit down during an everyday activity so that was one side effect I guess of the cleanse and another thing that I noticed while doing the cleanse was my bowels. It usually, like, I'm very regular, but when doing, this is kind of TMI, but yeah, when doing the cleanse, I was more constipated and it was harder to go to the bathroom, I guess, because there was, like, no real fiber or, like, any food, you know, to help push it through. So that definitely was something that I was not a fan of because when I'm, like, I never get constipated. And for it to be like that, it was just kind of, like, abnormal but once I went back to eating normally it was fine and it went back to normal so coming out of the cleanse I did eat you were supposed to eat I think three days up first day here I'll find it in my booklet um, post cleanse yeah they have like four days of the cleanse coming out of it as I was saying you have to do like uh, post cleanse or whatever so day one they said to have a few pieces of fruit spread throughout the day or cold pressed juices and they said for dinner they'd recommend lightly steamed vegetables oh so day one they actually suggest cooked foods oh I ate fully raw oops well I guess that's good though <laughs> um, raw vegetables and a dressing using flax or olive oil with lemon so I didn't even I thought I had to eat fully raw my day coming out <laughs> so I guess I went that extra mile but yeah that's what I did and what I had for um, my, I, the d first day out post cleanse is I had, I believe it was, yeah, three, two or three bananas with a little packet of peanut butter. That was breakfast. And then for lunch, I had an acai berry bowl and a raw, um, this probably isn't the most healthiest, but a raw um, vegan chocolate peanut butter cup. And it was so Oh, it was really good. And then for dinner, I had a nori uh, seaweed wrap that was fully raw. So that was really good. And, like, I did eat lower. I never eat like that on normal day. I always eat, like, a lot more food. But they told you that you're supposed to, you know, like, eat less coming into it so it doesn't, like, overload your body. So, yeah, that was my first day out of the cleanse. And I was supposed to, day two, you're supposed to, like, and then day three, day four, you're supposed to incorporate, like, more dense foods into your diet. And the reason why I wanted to do this cleanse was just to try something new. I've always heard people talking about juice cleanses. So I thought, well, hey, why not give it a try? And I would never recommend it. I, like, I would only recommend juice cleanses if you're already used to healthy eating and you know how to eat healthy already and you're not just doing a juice cleanse to like try to lose weight or try to like kickstart it into your healthy um, journey because I feel like if you're to do a juice cleanse right off the bat that it would kind of give you, it would be like too full force, you know, like you're not used to healthy eating at all, then you jump right into a juice cleanse. To me, that would just set you on your health journey on the wrong step because it would be too much too soon and it would make it seem like, oh, I have to eat low calorie juice every day to lose weight or something. But no, like I only think that people should do a juice cleanse if they're already used to healthy eating and kind of just doing it, you know, to try something new, give your 
body a break from metabolizing all the food, etc., etc. So definitely like don't jump into a juice cleanse if you're just starting your journey because I don't think it'll be a good first impression into a healthy lifestyle. But yeah, overall, doing my juice cleanse, I think it was like a cool experience. I'm glad to share it with you guys. Sorry I didn't like vlog it day by day, but I hope this is okay still. Um, but yeah, it was a good experience. Like, would I do it again? Maybe. Like, if I had like a photo shoot, I'd, de I'd definitely do it because then you can like look so slim, right? But yeah, if I might do it again, even just like if I didn't have, like I didn't do it this time because I had like some kind of photo shoot or anything. I just wanted to try it and I might do it again, but um, I don't know. Healthy eating just in general works so good for me. So maybe, maybe a one day one every once in a while, that'd be good. Kind of like I want to eat like fully raw one day a week or something. I wouldn't do a juice cleanse like once every week, but you know, like that kind of thing just to give your body like totally healthy food all day you know it might be a good reason to do it again but yeah I had really fun and I love that we have this I got it from Green Carrot and I'm so glad that we have this store here in Winnipeg because it's such a nice place and I always used to go there for and I still do for um acai bowls and their juice that's what I get for lunch sometimes and they're really great so I'm glad that we have something like this here and I hope that you guys liked my video about my juice cleanse. And hopefully you learned something and maybe inspired you. Or, yeah. And please remember to subscribe. Also, thumbs up if you like me in glasses. I need to order my contacts because my eyes are horrible. So, thanks for watching my video, guys. See you next video.